have really gotten it together. We're so proud of you. All right, let's get started. Who wants to guess my weight? <laughs> Go. Okay, I need a suggestion. I'm not going to I'm not going to cheat. Supercars? Okay. <laughs> Supercars and traveling. Joe Rogan. Super Joe Rogan is my dad. <laughs> I can't express to you enough. If I needed if I needed someone to play my father in a in a show about my family and my life, there's no one else to do it but Joe Rogan. They look alike. I think they're similar in size. My dad's been shrinking with age. <laughs> So I feel like that would be on point. Um, yeah, I don't know. The only difference, I don't know. I don't know Joe, to be honest with you. But I also don't know my dad. So <laughs> next. High school sports. Ooh, high school sports. Boxing. OK, so I still play my high school sport. Um, it's hard not to do jokes. And I don't want to trick you. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, but I do have jokes about my high school sport. Because I, well, I still play. Does anybody here? The sport is field hockey. Um, <laughs> does anybody here play field hockey? Okay. Okay, a lot of homophobes. I, I do play field hockey still to this day. I'm recovering from an eye injury. I, got, I, I was playing probably like three weeks ago and I got, this is my first stitches. Can you see them? Right here? Yeah. Look. Get closer. No. <laughs> <laughs> what if I did the classic grandpa like? <laughs> okay, but yeah, this is still healing. I got my. I've never gotten stitches in my life. I made it this far to to twenty six. <laughs> um, but it is. It's all back together. Anyway, when I got off the field, so I we were playing like half field. Um, but you know what field hockey is, right? It's a, it, it, yeah, you play with a stick, yes. One side's flat, one side's curved. You have to get really low to eat all the pussy. Okay, <laughs> that is a joke of mine. I'm so sorry. All right. Um, so we're playing with the boards because we're playing half. And uh, my friend Christina passed it off the boards. I went to receive it, and it popped up in my face. And then the ball, which is like hard plastic, hit my eye. and. Um, it hurt, but I didn't think it was that bad. I was gonna like sort of dream on green it, you know what I mean? Be like, oh, like make it look worse, hopefully get a penalty or something. And then I was covered in my own blood. <laughs> I was like, ah, that was realer than I thought. And then of course I was coming off the field um, uh, being a woman. I was like, I'm so sorry, this is my fault. And <laughs> I, my friends were like, we don't know why you were apologizing, but you kept apologizing as you were bleeding all over yourself. And um, yeah, I had a lot of friends who, who wanted to, to hurt the person that hurt me. And again, it was me. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> it popped off, off my own stick. Um, OK. I'm trying to think of any other high school sports I played. Oh, I mean, I did a little track. I did, I did the long jump. But I mean, the numbers would be abysmal if we compared them to a, an Olympians. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's probably like how they just jump over a puddle is how far I was <laughs> with all my strength. I also, I also did high jump. It's getting more and more embarrassing as I keep talking. I think I tried to run. <laughs> I tried everything, OK, before I quit track and field, just to be clear. Um, I tried the mile, and I remember packing snacks in my underwear. Um, <laughs> an orange slice and do you remember that power gel the fuel that tasted like does anybody remember power gel it's probably still exists but it was like vanilla and you like squirt it in your mouth Ugh, like jizz and <laughs> i remember like if you think about it now it's like four laps isn't it yeah. what a fucking i mean it's not that hard i treated it like i was out for days like writing a letter to my mom like hopefully i'll be back before dusk um, but I, the real problem was that we had an hour for lunch at my school in Ohio. We could go anywhere we wanted. I mean, there wasn't much to get into, um, but we, I went to Taco Bell. So I just, you know, carb up at lunch on Taco Bell, prep for the mile, um, pack snacks. And guess what I did after I finished the mile? 
I barfed, yeah, 100%. I barfed everywhere. But I remember packing orange slices, the power gel, and then it all came up. You look so confused about my choices. <laughs> I also did try running the 100. I do remember that. And um, or maybe it was like the 200, whatever, half or a sprinty thing. But um, in the blocks, I was maybe, who would have been holding the blocks for the first runner, the last leg? I don't know, I just remember holding someone's blocks while they took off. Then I picked them up and without thinking, I just turned in and I clotheslined the girl who was in the lane next to me. The parents turned on me from the other school. I could, <laughs> they yelled at me, I couldn't go back and that's, that's why I don't have them in education. Okay. <laughs> um, you said supercars earlier. Like super heroes, but cars are like, <laughs> Okay, okay. You mean like Ferraris and stuff? Okay, sure. So like, is that your personality or? <laughs> no. Do you have one or it's just more of a wish? No, I don't. Okay, so you don't care about cars? Uh, a little bit. Okay, so what if I told you I drove a Volvo? <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel? Reliable. Okay. <laughs> Old reliable. Um, yeah, I, drove, I drive a Volvo. Um, it's not a funny story, but I, I did get it for a road trip. And this is when you should really listen to your instincts. Um, again, more of a cautionary tale, what I'm about to get into. I was driving alone up the coast, and it was like October 2020 is when I bought it. And I was driving up to Seattle to see my friends, and I, a cop in front of me dodged something on the highway and then just left it for me. Um, <laughs> and it hit my tire, blew it out, and I had to like pull over because it was like <laughs> So then I did press the Volvo on call, and as I'm waiting, a, a, like an unmarked white van pulls up behind me, and I'm like, well, that couldn't be an official Volvo <laughs> on call vehicle. But, um, you know, like, I'm too much, I don't know, like my, my, my little antennas were sort of going off, but um, this guy, he comes up very quickly to my window and he's like, roll down your window, I'll help your thing. I'll help you flip your tire. He's like, pop your trunk. And I just, I just pop the trunk. Oh, <laughs> he's working faster than anybody's ever worked to fix a tire for someone. I get my knife and I'm, <laughs> I'm like, maybe it was a bad idea to open the back of my car for a strange man in an unmarked large white van enough to carry me and all my bones and skin. So, <laughs> thank goodness the tow truck driver pulled up as he's like quickly, I'm sorry, this is not funny, I got the light. Um, <laughs> as he's quickly changing my tire, the, the semi or whatever, the truck pulls up on the highway. And cops had already, driven by, one of them pulled over and did say like, are you okay? And I said, yeah, the semi's coming. And then cue the white van, probably working for the cops. No, okay. Um, <laughs> but he's changing my tire, the semi pulls up, that is when I quickly get out of my car and run back to the semi. And I, and I pop up, on, I go on the inside obviously, because cars are like zoom, zoom, zoom. And I go around on this side and I pop my head up on his, passenger side window and there's a chihu chihuahua there that was doing what I was trying to do earlier like <laughs> and I was like ah! he's the driver is so mad at me because he's like what you just called your friends to help help you I go I don't know those men he goes holy shit and he gets out of his car and as he starts walking towards the car those guys get in their car and leave so was I about to get murdered, raped, and eaten? I don't know, thank God I made it to Just For Laughs Toronto. I feel like we should bring Jeremiah back up here. Maybe he'll, he'll veer away from the murder stuff. Good to see you again. Yeah, great to see you, pal. I missed you. I missed you. I know it's been like ten minutes. Oh my god. <sighs> what uh? What else we got? What other suggestions Pencils, we got? Uh, were you good at coloring inside the lines as a kid? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> keeps 
keeps the monsters at bay, really. Uh, <laughs> oh, I colored in the lines real hard. Uh-huh. Yeah. My, uh, my wife uh, got some adult coloring books mm -hmm. uh, for stress. Yeah. And that was the first time when I was married to her where I was like, am I going to be okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first, like, fla like, like was yeah. it's like, is this a red flag? It's like, am I about to be on one of those snapped murder shows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, like, this is how she gets it out of her system. It's just like, he just hasn't been doing the dishes. <laughs> 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 just like, and then it goes a little bit. Jeremiah, pass me the blue. <laughs> That's violent, Jeremiah! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bring me my stencils! <laughs> uh, what else we got? Cranberry farming. Cocktail. What was this one? Cranberry farming. Cranberry oh, farming. Ocean spray. <laughs> I mean, is there anything hotter than a man in waders? You know what I mean? Is there room for two in those waders? I don't know, are cranberries good raw? Cranberry in the raw. Uh, cranberries in the raw. I mean, it's one of those things where. Would where... you pick one and eat it out of the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> I would Look, love we gotta time. get the jokes in now because I talked about almost getting murdered. <laughs> I would love, like, just based off those commercials, like, that's where they're picked. It's just, like, through splashes of water, you know? <laughs> it's just, like, grabbing them out of there. I can't help it. I mean, are there animals in the ocean that eat the cranberries? I mean, maybe some sea urchins or something? <laughs> I don't really know. I, have you ever tried sea urchin? No, have you? I did recently, yeah. Wow. It was, I wanted to pretend to like it, but I didn't. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's like, ooh, you tried uni? I'm like, yeah, it was uni. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that one. Oh, that one just came out. Okay, but I'm just saying it was on a I'm it was on a waffle, and I was like, just give me the waffle. Sea urchin on a waffle? Okay, that sounds like I the don't... most hipster restaurant ever. <laughs> Here's the thing. We do things a little different here. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime somebody prefaces that, like at the restaurant, hey, welcome to this restaurant. We do things a little different here. <laughs> you got to be a little afraid of what's about to come on your plate. It was seared and not a waffle. Have you ever had a cranberry in the raw? Like just straight, like off the stem? Um... Not that I recall. Because I can't help, it's just one of those things where that fruit, like I've heard it so many times over the years where I can't help of, but not, I can't help but not think of UTIs when I hear cranberries. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I thought of my men only... waiters, you thought of urinary tract infections? Yeah, because that's the only, <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I guess that's supposed to help. Like it's just like kind of a symbol, like if, if it's in my fridge at, at my place, I'm like, oh, uh, do I have a dirty dick and I <laughs> <laughs> and I did this to my wife? Are you like I never think like like it's it's her and I'm like, am I doing something wrong on my end if I see the cranberry um, juice? I would in the like fridge? to answer for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always you. You're the problem. Good to know. <laughs> I guess I uh, shouldn't name my balls Ocean Splash. Or... <laughs> It's got a tart taste. I don't know what it does. The balls or the cranberry? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! -o. Hey! -o. No, but yeah, I, I think um, I guess I didn't realize that uh, I always felt like a dirty dick causes. I, I guess you're right. UTIs, right? And yeast infections. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's important for you guys to clean it too, obviously. Yeah. But we're like a wet cave. Like you can't just throw anything in there; it'll grow. <laughs> That's what I call and, it, the old wet cave. And, and I call mine the dry corn dog. <laughs> there needs to be a little bit more mustard on it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's grab another suggestion. Birthday sex. What's that? Birthday sex. Birthday sex. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Sex. Birthday sex. I don't know. I'm usually too full. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> uh, I think your relationship is in trouble if you are looking forward to your birthday to have sex. 
If it's not like on the regular, if it's not like an assumed thing that you're gonna have sex on your birthday, I think that it's like who's ready for that birthday blowjob? It's like oh, this relationship might be in trouble. Right, you gotta just spring it on them when they're least expecting it, like dance recital blowjob and <laughs> PTA blowjob. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have kids, just to be clear. Uh... I mean, uh, that is, I think that is a huge difference between men and women as far as like the surprise factor. If you surprise a guy, like I think that he'll be like, I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> but like, if you like really try to surprise a woman too much, it's like it becomes scary. Right. Well, I mean, okay. Like, if you woke up, I first of all, I just thought of Ace Ventura and the Shark Tank when he's like, Whoa! you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just so we're all clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, okay, so you would be cool if you woke up to your d dick getting sucked. I'd be like, oh. Uh, okay, but, but think about how that's. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my birthday? <laughs> I just have to think about how it would start. Like, you're sleeping, but you're not on your side. You're on your back. And then I just put, like, a little pile of skin in my mouth until it gets hard. Like, 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 or would you have a boner in the middle of the night? And then I'd be like, well, now's the time. Well, who, well, sometimes as men, we get, like, pee boners in the middle of the night and stuff like that. Okay. So, I mean, if so you... So maybe uh, there's a little snack inside. <laughs> That's I what mean, I I'm not into drinking pee, to be clear. I just... She doesn't have kids. She's not into <laughs> drinking pee. I like fucking at children's recitals, is what I said. No, I'm just kidding. I like the idea of, of letting your significant other know, like, come on, there's a snack in there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if I was like, I've hidden a snack somewhere inside my body. <laughs> if I put it like a mini Snickers up in my hoot, and it was like... Trick or treat. <laughs> and you're like, hungry? Why wait? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, keep it going for best selling.